So, welcome back uh, to part two of me tying this uh, speed fly number one from black. Uh, um, it's going to be interesting. It's uh, going to be topping wing, uh, six toppings. Um, side's going to be cock up the rock. I have uh, the real stuff here. Um, uh, you can't see it in the light, but you're going to see it when I'm tying it. So, yeah, we, let's start with the video. Come on. So, topping time. Six toppings. Uh, I have one of my own uh, pattern uh, where I actually use 12 to 14 toppings. So, six, yeah, no problem. So, I'm gonna start with quite a, a long one as you see, since uh, it's gonna be cock of the rock on the sides that's gonna fill that gap later. So, the, f the thing when tying toppings, it needs to take time. So it's a few wraps, little bit of varnish, and then wait. First topping on, looks good to me, spot on. Varnish, clear varnish, I use vanyage as you know. <coughs> so let's add a little bit of varnish, not too much. Don't want to super build your head. And in meanwhile, I can prepare next topping. I'm not going to do that in the video, otherwise, it's going to be super long. So. I'm going to cut a little bit here until we wait for the varnish to dry. So, uh, time for topping number two. Let me see if I can add it smooth, quick. was there but I want it to be exactly on top of the other one and don't push it down there we are because you want to build the volume you don't want the <coughs> the topping to push everything down so you want it to gradually you know, grow the wing varnish it's gonna be between every step now and then I let it dry for a while and then I'm gonna add the third so you're gonna have a break listen to some reggae maybe have a glass of wine <coughs> and then we go for the third topping So now it's time for the third topping. We have sufficient with wax on the thread, so that's okay. So taking the third topping, just placing it over.
want to have it just on top of the other toppings, nothing else. And as you see, they're on top of each other. Maybe a little bit too long. No, I think it's okay. I'm gonna stick with it. A few more wraps of thread. That could be a bit shorter actually. So let me undo that. That's better. So it's gonna cut a little bit here. <clears throat> It's better to change now than, you know, you added all the six toppings and then you're not satisfied. Straight on. But I think I'm gonna pull it backwards a little bit. Adding some more varnish. <clears throat> there we go. So I'm going to select the topping number 4, let the varnish dry and then continue the video. Time for the fourth uh, topping. So uh, let me try to add that one. Yeah, turned out okay. Spot on. Put a little bit of gaps. So now it's a um, fifth and sixth topping. So let me varnish that one. And there we are. So I think uh, included with the dry time now, I spent yeah, two, two and a half hours just trying to get build this one up. So let me let it dry. Then it's uh, time for the fifth topping. So topping number five, I had like a crash in the sofa <laughs> really nice nap I guess I was tired um, 
so let's add this last, uh, not now last, but topping number five before we're adding the last topping to it. So. Now it actually starts to become a fly. Let me see. Just add a few wraps of threads. As you can see, everything's still spot on, in good position. Yeah, it's not bad. And then last, we have uh, topping number six. But first of all, of course, we need to varnish this one a bit. <coughs> So let's just do that and a little bit of varnish. And uh, let's wait a little bit until it's drying up. And adding the last topping and then we go for the sides so time for uh, the the last topping number six so let's see how that turns out Yeah, it's gonna bend, bend it a little bit. Makes the trend. And then just apply a few wraps of threads. Then we have uh, quite a full wing.
Looks okay. Not too much, not a little. So I'm gonna add a few layer of varnish and then I'm gonna do the coat of the rock feathers that I, yeah, I got here. That's gonna be interesting to put in place. But uh, let's start with the varnish. So, new day, new opportunities, uh, Sunday. So I let the, the wind dry over the night. Um, so let me see where we are. So waxing the thread. Then we need to attach um, Cock of the Rock. So I think you have the bag somewhere here. So this is how they look. They are. <coughs> so using the real deal. You can hardly see it. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> so, then the same procedure on my side. And then time for varnish. Yeah, you just adjust the flow later with the, the toppings. Actually, should it be a bit higher, they shouldn't really meet. Uh, blackish style, but yeah, it's my take on it. Anyhow, I wouldn't have it long enough wood back anyhow. At least gives you an idea how to tie the fly. <clears throat> gonna let the varnish dry and then we're gonna add the wood duck on the sides it's gonna be like a roof <coughs> and then it's uh, Macau horns and we're gonna have sheiks as well and I think I'm gonna since I got so much uh, ostrich in the body already I'm gonna just have a normal varnish black head I think that might change. Okay, so now it's time to add the wood deck on your side. I did it on my side already to shorten the video. And also a blue feather. And this one in the pattern it states Kingfisher, but I'm gonna use Pitta.
let me put it a little bit more down. wraps there with the thread. I'm also going to add a little bit of varnish. Them, please. So even more varnish, and then uh, we're gonna add the horn when all this is dried up. The horn, and then finish the head, and the face done. So now it's time to add the horns to this uh, fly, and then finish off the head and varnish a few times. So it's going to be the last part here. So, first of all, waxing the thread. little bit oh. 
or can be a nightmare. So then we have the other side. So, I guess gonna varnish as always. Varnish and then cut off and finish the head with the uh, uh, well waxed black wax. Then I'm gonna varnish that one, let it dry, and then I'm gonna varnish again with the black varnish, and then it's ready. And that picture is gonna be added to this video. So the fly is almost done, so I just have um, uh, the head to finish off. Uh, I'm not gonna show that because I've shown that uh, yeah, a lot of times. So basically the fly is ready. It's not really, really blacky style because the topping should be much higher. They shouldn't really meet, but uh, yeah, my, my, my instinct is programmed to, to, to meet with topping uh, it, I do so in all my flies so I might uh, give it a go uh, tie a different pattern later on uh, and just do it properly but still yeah it's, uh, it's it looks okay it's a nice fly I'm gonna frame it hang it on my wall so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoy the video subscribe to my channel I'm gonna add an icon here how, how you subscribe to the channel and also uh, different time videos up here and uh, yeah hit, hit the bell thumbs up share it you know enjoy give it a go yourself and um, yeah see you in the, in the next video bye